Avery and was likely to be the founder of the new monarchy, having, as it was said, taken immense riches. Yet all these were no more than false rumors improved by the cruel duality excuse me, of some and the humor of others who love to t tell strange things. See my face it would probably blind you. Swim. Just we do have a boat, you know. Yeah, we don't know to swim. Great if you don't know how to swim. It's not a bad thing if you don't know how to swim. Totally understandable if you don't know how to swim. Oh, what's this? Hellish dream. I was back in that Panamanian prison, a noose round my neck, and the hangman my grandfather. He held the wooden dismus cross before me and spat. We received the due reward of our deeds, Jonathan Burns. He pushed me off the tower, and I fell. I awoke in a cold sweat to the sound of frenzied shouting. Her ship's rigor, possessed by fever-borne delirium, commandeered our cavalier Haravel vessel and set sail. Darby attempted to stop him, but the boy stabbed the good captain and left him to die on the beach. We only managed to siege him when the ship round aground. I ordered the rigger tied to the broken mast as punishment for his unforgiven act, unforgivable act. First mate Hayes insisted this was needless cruelty, that a bullet would do as well, but I held firm. If we are to avoid similar incidents, if I am to succeed, an example must be made. We salvaged the supplies we could and brought them to at our remaining ship. At night, as night fell, we made our way back to the cave and laid poor Captain Derby to rest. The men busied themselves with their preparations, but it was impossible not to hear their muttering their doubts about our purpose here. I gathered them round Darby's grave and proclaimed, Do not let his death be in vain. We have come far. A we treasure is attended glory. Its attended glory are certainly waiting for us. Truth be told, the only certainty in my mind was the decision to leave Claire to wait back home. This voyage would be too much for her delicate constitution. It is almost too much for mine, but I cannot turn back now. My family's honor, my honor, hangs in the balance. Get out of the boat. Pretty cool, right? <laughs> yeah, it's pretty cool. Marco! Who's Marco? Forget it. Seriously, give it up, man. You know, crazy worldwide treasure on his side. Maybe we had the right idea. 
What's that? Lived by his own rules, traveled the world, made his fortune his way. Socks. Always forget the socks. Wet socks will keep you cool. Come on. Good to know. Just... Found treasure, Ryer. Today. Told you to quit smoking. All right, we're done here. I'm with you. Probably should just back up full speed ahead. Strange feeling. I'm finally on the verge of something really great, and I'm excited and terrified all at once. You have any idea what I'm talking about? I do. Move the boat. You know, taking the boat may be a tad faster. Just saying. Yeah, swimming back to the move your bum ass out the damn. Oh, yeah, I'm highly irritated. Don't move the boat. Dumbass here. Can't keep his hands off the damn tiller. I just stop jacking with the boat. Up there. Well, that definitely qualifies as man made. Uh uh. Pirate made. Shut up. Get out of the damn boat.
It's a door of some kind. <clears throat> Covering a chamber? A massive chamber. For storing a bunch of treasure? No way. You keep guessing that. Go. Wherever Avery put the treasure is going to be the most elaborate place we've seen yet. And it would be well protected, too. That makes sense. Because this shit ain't? Trapes and all over green creation isn't? It's like an old lookout tower. Well, let's see if we can spot something from up there. Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your hair. Nope. Anybody? Nope. Okay. Okay, up we go. Sam, this way. Oh, shit. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. This looks promising. Huh. Some kind of symbol. Chevron. Looks like a compass arrow. <laughs> Apparently it means push How here. Did you know to do that? Well, there's one thing I've learned from you. Press everything. <laughs> Down there, it's the same symbol. Another arrow. Let's go find out where it's pointing, huh? <sighs> Come on. Well, it's right below us. Yep. Down this way. Hey, dead dude. Oh, wonder what this guy did. Uh, well, maybe he wouldn't stop singing the sea shanties. Yeah, that's. that's what's his face? A friggy dude. <laughs> 